Get ready for your daily dose of marketing strategies and tactics from entrepreneurs with the guile and experience to help you find success in any marketing capacity. You're listening to Marketing School with your instructors, Neil Patel and Eric Sue. Welcome to another episode of Marketing School. I'm Eric Sue, And I'm Neil Patel. And today we're going to talk about if SEO will be around in 10 years. So my thoughts around this, I think it's pretty simple. Uh, I still think we're in pretty early days right now with, you know, the Google Homes of the world or the Amazon, uh, you know, the Echoes or the Alexas of the world. Um, so, you know, I for the next 10 years or so, I think it's definitely going to be around. I think as long as search is around, even if it's voice search or even if it's, um, you know, you're typing in search as well, I think SEO is going to be around. It's just the way we do it uh, might change. You know, maybe in the future, it's not going to be so much around uh, links anymore. Maybe it's around, uh, maybe it's around, you know, the, all, all the internal data that, uh, you know, Google's collecting and it's about, you know, how they're mashing things up with, um, you know, their their kind of deep learning or deep mind system. So, um, you know, there's only so much I know about that, but I just, I, I think SEO is always going to be around. It's just probably the way uh, it's going to be done. It's probably going to change in, you know, the next five years or so. Yeah. And, and there's multiple variations of SEO as well. There's SEO for Google, there's SEO for YouTube, there's SEO for Amazon, right? You can rank your listings higher on Amazon within their search results. What you have to end up thinking about is the problem with SEO right now is you do a search, you get a list of results, and then you go from there. With mobile devices, with these home automation systems, etc., it's very inconvenient for Alexa to say, result number one is this, result number two is this, result number three is that. Which one would you like, Neil, right? That's really inconvenient and that's not going to happen. And SEO is also changing, which more people are starting to use voice. So my big thing is, and this is where I think SEO is going to shift, it's going to be one result, really just one result. And I don't know what they're going to base it off of. It could be social shares. It could be what are your friends like. It could be your geolocation as well as brand queries, links. It could be a factor of things. But I do believe that the result is going to be personalized for each person. So that way, when you search for something, you get one result. And that result is going to be targeted towards you. And your friend over there will probably see a different result than you. Yeah. And at the end of the day, it's all about the the overall experience, right? You know, when Google first started, um, you know, we're talking in the early, you know, the late 90s, early 2000s or so. Um, what they had was, well, the best way to, to, to do SEO was, you know, looking at links. And that was the, the best signal overall to, to provide the best experience to people. And people were just typing all the time. But if you look at the way things are going now, you see Elon Musk, uh, you know, with his Neuralink, um, you know, initiative um, and Neil talking about maybe there only being one result. So it's one best result. And, you know, you go even further than that when you're able to collect, connect everything, uh, machines to mines, uh, then you're going to get a result. You're going to get a result instantly, or maybe you can get multiple results instantly and, and evaluate them really quickly, right? So we're going into things that are like way beyond uh, the scope of this podcast. Um, but you just have to be really vigilant about how things are evolving and you don't want to be stuck in your ways. Because, you know, the great thing about listening to a podcast like this is that marketing is changing all the time and it changes really rapidly. It, it, it's, it moves you know, on pace with technology, which is just changing every single minute, right? Um, so I don't think there's much more for me to add around this. Neil, do you want to throw anything in? Yeah, SEO will also adapt based on how younger people are using search engines. So for example, I was around two kids uh, the other day, and they were talking about Kobe Bryant being an amazing basketball player. And I was just like, uh, Michael Jordan is also amazing, right? Because these guys didn't see Michael Jordan play basketball because they were too young. And when I was talking to him, you know, and they're just like, oh, you know, Kobe Bryant's better. He scored more points, et cetera. I'm like, you guys sure he scored more points? And I was just actually trying to see where they're getting their facts from. They're making them up. And what's even more interesting, they're like, huh, I wonder how many points Michael Jordan scored then, right? They were asking. And then I'm like, I don't know. And they did not even try to Google it to try to find the answer. They're like, oh, well. So the search patterns or how people are using search is going to change because of the younger generation. What is it going to change to? I don't know. There still will be search because information is out there and people will still need to find information. The question is, how is it going to be presented? And based on that, that's how Google or other search engines are going to change or even whatever's out there in the future. 
All right, so that's it for today's episode. But before we take off, uh, we have a special giveaway for you once again. Uh, this tool is called Yesware, and Yesware is an awesome sales and marketing tool that allows you to set different templates, uh, you know, follow-up templates, share it with your team as well, um, and a host of other things that you can do. And there's lots and lots of people that use it. Um, and we have a special offer that's uh, going to be available where we can give you a one-year annual subscription for free because of um, a deal that we struck with them. And all you need to do is rate, review, and subscribe to this podcast. And to prove that you did it, text marketing school that's one word marketing school to 33444 and we will pick a winner and let you know and neil anything else you want to add yeah it's an amazing tool um just keep this in mind i use it myself whenever i send marketing emails like personal for my gmail or whatever it may be i check to see if people open it through yesware if they don't then I then send them another email with a different subject line and that helps me optimize and kind of like a b testing but for emails Great. So that's it for today's episode. We will see you tomorrow. This session of Marketing School has come to a close. Be sure to subscribe for more daily marketing strategies and tactics to help you find the success you've always dreamed of. And don't forget to rate and review so we can continue to bring you the best daily content possible. We'll see you in class tomorrow right here on Marketing School.